what is the most important thing that we can say about Jesus? We call him many things in the life of the church and even in the gospel. He is called the Lamb of God, the one who is after John but is before John in importance. We call him the one that the Spirit descends on. We call him the Son of God. But what is most important? I'll put it differently, because all of these things must be said about the Lord. But which of them do we most easily misunderstand and forget? There might be more than one answer to this question, but I suggest that the point that we most easily miss when we talk about the Lord as the Lamb of God, the one who comes to take away the sin of the world, the crucified one, the risen Lord, the Son of God. There is something that we may mistake, that somehow we may think that Jesus is less than the Father. In every other sense, this would be assumed. If he is the Lamb of God, we would say logically that he cannot be as important as God himself. If he is the Son of God, then he is automatically less than his Father, we would think. And therefore it is necessary that we pause and correct ourselves, because this is not so. The most important thing we say about Christ is that he is Lord. Because this is the word that we use to speak to God alone. On a different note, if you ever wonder why does it matter whether we call the feast day that falls on the 6th of January Theophany or Epiphany, what's the difference? They both mean a revelation, right? But this is why the Orthodox Church insists that properly, fine, it's an Epiphany, Kala. It's a revelation, we get it. But it's not just any person that is revealed to us. It is God himself. And therefore, we call it Theophania. And by the way, Kroniopola, to any who celebrate for the lights, the Fotis and Fotinis, and any Theophanies or Theophanias, even at Tiffany, if you know at Tiffany, this is her feast day, and the Yanis as well for today. But this is important. If we ask, what do we believe about Jesus Christ? If anyone asks us this question, yes, it's important that he was baptized, crucified, that he rose from the dead. All of these things we believe. But central to our faith, if anyone asks, what's the most important thing about Jesus Christ? We need to answer quickly, fluently, immediately, He's God, not a God, the God. He is our creator. He is our savior. He is the infinite, glorious creator God. We miss this sometimes because this is beyond our comprehension. How can God become man? How can the invisible one take on flesh? How could the Creator submit to be dunked underneath the water by the one that he had made? 
But this is the miracle we confess. This is the truth before which we prostrate ourselves in fear and in awe. God has become a man. And Jesus Christ is God. So on this feast day of St. John the Baptist, the forerunner, we celebrate him who is indeed the greatest of the prophets because all the other prophets they foresaw in visions, in shadows, in dreams, and they spoke in veiled form, in But John saw with his eyes. John touched with his hands. John proclaimed to all the world in the flesh the truth, the marvel, the miracle that all the other prophets had yearned to see and had not. This is why John the Baptist is always on the iconostasis right? On every iconostasis in the Orthodox world, Christ is there first, Panagia is over there, and right next to Christ is John. And what is John doing? He's saying, look there, right next to me, one who comes after me, but is preferred before me because he was before me. John always points to Christ. because Christ is God and it is for the purpose of preaching and proclaiming his miraculous coming into the world that John the Baptist was sent to preach, to baptize, to proclaim the coming of salvation to us all. So on this day, whatever else we take from the feast days, whatever else we take from the scripture readings from the sermons. Remember, yes, Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. Yes, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Yes, he is baptized, crucified, descends into Hades and rises from the dead. Yes, he ascends into heaven. But above all, he is who? God. Therefore, let us stand Continue the liturgy and rejoice in the presence of God in our midst. Amen.